Hello, it's Katie from Midnight Music and today I'm going to show you some tips for recording into Sibelius using a MIDI keyboard. First you need to plug in your MIDI keyboard and turn it on and then after that you can start Sibelius. If you don't do it in that order you might find that Sibelius doesn't actually recognise that your keyboard is plugged in. You can check whether your keyboard's connected properly by selecting a bar or a rest and by, just by pressing a few notes on your keyboard. You can also go into Sibelius's Preferences area, which is File Preferences on all PCs and on Macs using Sibelius 7, or Sibelius Menu and Preferences on Macs using earlier versions of Sibelius. Click on the Input Devices option on the left here, and you should see that your keyboard is listed in this window. When you play some of the notes on your keyboard, the little window will show a green light on the right side here. Next I look at the music that I'm about to record into Sibelius. I like to check to see if there are any repeated sections because there's not really any point recording the same section twice. You can just copy and paste the music. Keep in mind as well that you don't have to record the whole piece at once. You can record small sections at a time. Then I look at what I'm about to play and work out what the smallest rhythmic value is. My piece here has a quaver as its smallest value. That's going to come in handy in a minute when we set up some of our recording options. I find that recording in Sibelius is much more successful if you give Sibelius a little bit of information about what you're going to play before you hit the record button. You can open up FlexiTime options, which is where you can create these settings, by going to the Node Input tab and then you need to click on the little dialog launcher button here. In earlier versions of Sibelius, you need to go to the Notes menu and then to FlexiTime options. I won't go through all of the settings here, but I'll just highlight a few useful ones. Firstly, this flexibility of tempo setting controls how Sibelius follows your speed. If you want to vary your tempo a little bit while you play and have Sibelius work out where your beats in the bar are, then choose one of the rubato options in this menu. However, I find that people who are trying FlexiTime recording for the first time have a bit more success when they leave this set to none. This means that Sibelius will keep a fixed tempo, which you'll need to follow by listening really carefully to the metronome click. The Recording to Multiple Voices option over here allows you to record two rhythmically independent parts on one stave. So if you're just recording a single melody line, I would suggest turning this off. Next on the Notations tab, it's important to leave this Adjust Rhythms box checked. You might remember that we found out that the smallest rhythmic value that I have in my piece is a quaver. So that's what I'm going to select in this drop down menu here. By this setting here is it's not quite a quantization setting, but it will help Sibelius to round up the rhythmic values if you happen to play a really short note by accident. Lastly, unless I know I need to play tuplets, I tend to turn all these tuplet settings to none. Then click OK when you're done. To check the tempo before I actually record anything, I like to listen to the metronome for a couple of bars. That way I can see if it's going to be too fast for me to play the music accurately. To listen to the metronome, I just select a bar or a rest and then press the record button, but I don't actually record anything this first time. Have a listen and then press the space bar to stop. If you think it's too fast for you to play, you can record at a slower speed by just making a temporary change to the tempo. Go to the View tab and then in the Panels group here, check the Transport box to open the Transport window. If you're on an earlier version of Sibelius, this window is usually open by default and it's known as the Playback window. You can slow the tempo down by moving this tempo slider just to the left a little. So here's where you take a deep breath and get ready and then press the record button. Remember that once you hit record you'll have a one bar introduction before you start playing unless you made that introduction a little bit longer in the FlexiTime options window. When 
you're finished playing, you can press the space bar to stop the recording or just press the escape key on your computer keyboard. The last step is to fix up any errors that you made. So take a look at what you've just recorded. And if a, the pitch of a note is incorrect, you can select that note and then use the up or down arrow keys to move it. Or if the rhythm is incorrect, you can select the note and then choose a new rhythm on the keypad. I hope you found those tips useful. If you'd like more information about Midnight Music, head over to midnightmusic.com.au where there's information about hands-on training for music technology and also online courses. Using a MIDI keyboard to Sibelius. Using a MIDI Using a MIDI keyboard. Mm -hmm.